legt die Hausfrau nachts die Kette vor. Im Korridor steh ich davor. Mit der Pfeile ohne Eile keck, weil ich sie weg, da liegt der Dreck. Guten Abend, der Mittler und der Mittlerin, und willkommen zu unserem Video Podcast Into the Darkness, where my friends and I play the Call of Cthulhu role playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. Our scenario is The Devil Eats Flies. It was written by David Larkin, Mike Mason, and Lynn Hardy, and it's part of a collection entitled Berlin, the Wicked City. It's available from Drive Through RPG. Our game master is Keith Craig, and this is episode five. Our recap will be given by David Gassaway as his character Otto Richter. So, without any further delay, Lass uns in die Dunkelheit reisen. David? So, uh, when the Great War was over, I uh, thought that uh, hell would have little surprising for me in it. And the world knew that Karl Grossmann was a monster or a demon, but they did not know that this demon served a god more evil by far. My day began when I woke up filthy with the blood of a woman that I had murdered in an abandoned culvert. And then you find out who your friends really are because the fellows from Beobacht came to find me at home and I told them the truth and they did not call the constabulary and have me taken away to the madhouse. In fact, they went uh, a bit later uh, and um, retrieved my kitchen knife from where I had left it in my frenzy and disposed of it uh, before reporting the discovery of this body to the police. While they were next to this innocent woman who was murdered in my sleep, uh, Max had strange visions. It's been a very difficult couple of days for Max as well. So we learned from the newspapers that our great discovery that Anna might be Princess Anastasia is something that the whole town is gossiping over and that she was attacked at Van von Kleist's uh, rooms at the hotel by a, a maid. And I think I understand already what this poor woman is going through. Uh, but the doctor is sent off to see to her and she is once again catatonic and she says the eyes reminded her of something and it made her wounds painful again. And she also says, yeah, she is the Anastasia, the Grand Duchess of Russia. So she believes at least and her uh, history makes some sense. Uh, so the rest of us go to the library. Uh, Astrid has noticed that a fellow working there, we find out his name is Johan. He has a, a strange injury like my departed friend Karl Heinz has. Uh, and we have research to do, but Johan is not there at first. And we learn more about the Anastasia situation, all is well. And then Johan comes and we have a little game. Yeah, I watch while they talk to him and see if he attacks Max with a pen knife or something. And he is cool and calm and friendly. And so on the way out, I asked him about Grossman and he calls me by my name. And he tells me to call him Carl. And he tells me that the black goddess that seduced me in my sleep is called Abbe Zul. And he tells me that it is only a few hours until my body begins to betray me, so where it's out of those of the rest of us who have eaten the worst it was in the sausage all along. As we suspected, we are clever, but it's too late for me. I will never know what restaurant I visited that had purchased the tainted sausage from Karl Grossmann. Or perhaps I will know if it eats my soul, which is what he says he will do. And I felt not long after something tried to take a greater hold of me from inside, but I think I'm stronger than it thinks. I think I will last long enough to kill myself before I uh, am consumed. Unless we are successful in our little plan because uh, uh, Dr. Vogelscheucher found out that there is a book that Karl Goldsmann knew of, the Mysteries, the Vermis Mysteries, yeah? An ancient book of some magic. 
uh, and maybe this is where we find the Abe Zul and end my nightmare before I become one of the hundreds of killers that Carl lives inside throughout the city of Berlin. So wish us luck. All right. So when we left off, you guys were hanging out at the restaurant and uh, formulating a uh, plan of action. Uh, what time is it at this point? Uh, it's uh, probably getting into late afternoon. I don't know what time. So the library closes. It closes at nine o'clock. <sighs> nine o'clock. I don't know that I want to wait that long. Well, I don't think we can go there while Johan is on duty. He, uh, he is not, uh, he is very much aware of what I am and uh, Astrid and Gustav, I Astrid and Marx also. No, we, we must be careful, Otto, you are a friend, but if Grossman can perceive through your senses, and he may now know what we are planning. Yeah, well, uh, there I have two options, uh, well, maybe two or three, uh, because I cannot sleep unless I am bound and chained and have someone watching over me. So I can, we can arrange this, uh, or I will just take cocaine for the next few days until I am insane and throw myself in the river. My fear, though, is that if I do have to kill myself, I want to make sure that the body is destroyed because my friend Karl Heinz in the cellar, he was pretty far gone. Maybe he killed himself and this thing still moves him around. Well, there is fire. Yeah, I think fire is better than the river. But well, for, what ahead. do you think, Astrid? Well, I, I, you know, Otto, I, I appreciate your... Uh, your candor in this matter. Um, I, I, I feel that your, your pessimism might be getting the best of you, though. Um, I, I am thinking I may be able to secure some type of academic release for the book. So we could go the more legitimate route. Um, we may not be able to take the, the book from the museum, or if we do, we may have to use some, some subterfuge. Um, but I may be able to, to go that route um, if we don't want to go the larceny route. Or well, route, I should say. Uh, you know, the benefit of not having me tied down in a bed somewhere is that I am entirely willing to kill or die uh, in order to procure this book, um, which puts me in an unusual situation. Yeah, Yesterday I was maybe a little bit, I mean, I, is this brave? Today I'm pretty brave because I have very little to lose. And again, we can't send, I, I have not told you what Carl said he wants to do to you. But you don't want to be Johan again. There is no Johan in there. This this Carl Grossman is is a coward, just like all of the men who kill who kill women. He's he's a coward, and he can be beaten. You know, I I'm thinking, uh, Otto, you 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 may be resolved because you are a brave man. But we are not results if we will lose you. We want to save you. And I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking it may very well be that your original idea of having you uh, restrained is, is not a bad idea. Because even if this Grossman takes you over somehow, we might still be able to drive him back out of you. There, the exorcism has been part of human culture from the very beginning. And I'm thinking, Astrid, uh, forgive me for asking, but you, you have, you know a lot of uh, ladies of the night and, uh, and people, and, and there are far more interesting things that people get involved in besides just sex. Do you think 
maybe we could find a set of manacles or something uh, that we could uh, we could you know strap Otto to the bed or something so that he can't hurt himself, but he also can't get away. Oh, handcuffs. I've, yeah. I've got I've got a set of handcuffs. Well, yeah, something more than handcuffs because you know he needs to be rope. I've got that too. Rope would, would likely might. be sufficient. It, it perhaps I don't want to hurt him. So mm-hmm. you know, sometimes people don't want to come willingly in my line of work. So your idea also gave me give me another idea, Doctor. Uh, we could perhaps enlist the assistance of the Berlin Police Department in securing this book for us. We could say that it has immediate material bearing upon the the Grossman murders and the the murders that are concurrently happening. Well, I'll tell you one thing I don't. I don't want a bunch of flat feet taking the book into the police station to read in six months and have a report file. Uh, have... They do trust us. They trust us to to have some knowledge on these matters. And perhaps they could secure it for us or secure some type of special dis- dispensation from, from the library. Um, um, you gave me an idea of something, you said the police. I am not a polished liar, but I, I can work on it. Um, what if we call the police and we tell them that we saw Johan in the alley, murdering the woman. And they go and they arrest him, even if it's just for questioning. But the second they arrest him, he's not in the library anymore. Ethically, Doctor, I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I but it's feel... also Yeah, ethically, yes. he is not a human being at this point. Do you know underneath that? Johan is, is dead. Oh, yeah. And, Johan, I should say. Uh, and, uh, he did murder the woman through Otto, if, if you want to say it that way. I mean, we don't say it that way. They think we're crazy. Um, also, I, I, uh, I don't mean to alarm anybody, uh, but we also have the, the issue with Anna or Anastasia to be concerned. It seems that w- one of the uh, militants was taken over, uh, and you know, he had attacked uh, Anna uh, just, just the other night, and, um, or, you know, just recently. And... Uh, you know, so perhaps there's that, that to look into, and I think that it might not, it might not be a bad idea to get uh, a little bit friendly with these militants because, uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind uh, trying to, you know, convince one of them to get me one of their guns. Because, I mean, this is, this is serious stuff going on. Yeah, I don't yeah, know about uh, that. If you, if you say, they had, you, they, you said they had grenades in the suite, yeah? Yeah. Do they have any handguns, though? We want something we can conceal. Uh, yes, probably, but uh, I'm I'm better with a rifle. But I can probably get you know if if they they it's a question of if they'll give it give them to us. But they definitely had both. I think if uh, if the Baron says uh, says uh, to killing her, we need these men to be armed. They, the Hans Vogelscheucher uh, warned me about this already. He thinks that they'll do anything the Baron says. Yeah. I am uh, still very angry as to what. And sounds there. Well, well, if if we can figure out something from this book that will help us not resort to uh, murder, hopefully, and then we can end all this madness. And I would I would prefer to try that option first. So yeah, who all who all is with me on trying to convince the police department? to secure us the, the book. Ooh, I, I personally I, prefer a more direct approach, I think. I, I think since the police, if they secure the books, they will secure it for themselves. Yeah, you know, yeah. They might let us see it, but they won't let us see it today, and we need to save Otto. Yeah, and okay. in addition to me, keep in mind that they, uh, Carl says that there are hundreds, right? Hundreds others like me. And who knows how long he has to wait. And maybe he has one or two of them making sausages themselves in that hideous little shark in the garden, yeah? And then we have more mm. sausage people. Yeah, to be and, clarified, I, I, I don't want to be armed to murder people. I want to be armed to ensure that we don't get murdered. 
Okay. So what what is your plan with the weapons? Are you planning on going in and and holding up the place, or how how are we going to do this? No, I'm saying that it might be a good idea for us to be armed in the future in general. Right, but I'm I'm still focused on getting getting the book. So how how do we plan on doing that? I think there's a decent idea about uh, uh, what what you know Dr. Vogelschweiger said about convincing the police that that he murdered them and then having them take him away for at least temporarily time. We can go in and get it then. I think that's a good idea. Okay, so the distraction. Exactly. I think that I think that given the condition of Karl Heinz in the cellar and this Johan always putting more and more things on himself, I think that the Grossman bodies decay from the evil that they're in, yeah. So if the police come to speak to him, he can't hide, he can't pull his extra eyes back in and say, No, I am nice Johan, I live with my aunt in the country. I think he will even fight to defend himself and then might have shoot to him. open them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. So, so do we want to uh, notify the police, arm ourselves, go there with the police, and while they're distracted, taking Johan away, someone runs off to the restricted area and grabs the book? Is that, is that the plan? Something like that, but the, the, I, I, I'm thinking something like, if we call on the, the phone, or on we say, oh, I am I am very afraid of what I have seen last this morning. There was a man. He was the man who works at the library. He murdered the woman. I say, well, who are you? I say, oh, I'm, I'm afraid I don't want to tell you. And, okay. and then we wait nearby and we watch the police come and take him away. And then once he's okay. gone, it's a lock Would you like me to make this phone call? Yeah, maybe. Sure. Okay. I mean, I could try. I'm, I'm convincing myself <laughs> to do this, even though it's unethical, and I'll tell you why. Because I said to myself, Johan is, is dead, and this spirit or whatever it is is, is encompassing his body. So I, I don't feel bad. This person doesn't have long to live anyways, uh, if what we know is to be true. Uh, so I'll go ahead and make that phone call. Do you all want to arm yourselves first? Or should I do this now? Uh, I, do do this? I have my own ethical problems with uh, handguns. Don't like to use As do them. I. I refuse to arm myself. Auto Max? Uh, as I repeat, as uh, violence has no further uh, fear for me in it. Yeah, I am either going to become a, a slightly deranged man who lives a ripe old age, or I'm going to be um, uh, charred bits within the next 24, 48 hours, yeah? And if I see any more Carls out there, I would love to shoot them full of holes. I think that I am uh, more willing to run away if uh, the long-necked monsters show up. All right, so so what, what what do you guys want to do? Do you want to shall get we, your guns? Should we try and go speak with the militants about purchasing or <laughs> borrowing one now, or should we pursue the uh, Anastasia angle and pursue that afterwards? Well, I see this. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not in charge, you know. Um, hmm. I, I think Astrid should make a phone call. Okay. And uh, if they take if they take the, the monster away. Um, we don't need our, to be armed at all anyway, unless something... Um, and again, if, so, if all the Grossmans know anything that I know, which I don't think is true, but they know some things, yeah? So if there could be uh, 20 Carls waiting at the library, because if Grossman read the Venus Mysterious, then he knows the book has, you know, is, is a danger to him, yeah? Was it who said the book was there? Uh, it was uh, Peter Shableski Bork, the guy that hired you. Why did he know it was there? It was the Tula Society. He's got his finger uh, in uh, eyes. Oh, yeah. 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 The he list. knows about the... Uh, the well, there is, we don't know yet, but there is a possibility that he thinks it's there. And that yeah, I mean, we can make something very simple. Maybe Johann's 
uh, finished at six o'clock at the library. Maybe he's he was there late. He was there late the, also, uh, the first time. Point out, there. Bork, Bork might not be, even be alive anymore. He was stabbed and severely injured in the attack uh, on, on Anastasia. I fixed him. He's fine. Oh, you did fix him. Okay. But is, is he going to be all right long term? Uh, he should recover as long as he doesn't right. get a bad infection or something. Well, I'm, I'm worried they're going to make another attempt on, on him and him and Anastasia. Well, you know, Nazis don't have blood like the rest of us do. It's more of a black ether that flows through their veins and makes them evil. Um, now, I have to say, going to talk to those, those Erhard creeps just to get a couple of guns is going to get my car, stick in my craw. Maybe let's let's, another way we can get, let's get the book first. All right. All right. All okay. right. I'll so make ask, the phone call. Astrid, uh, so the defending house, how quickly they respond. Give me your choice. Okay. Fast talk or persuade. Um, I don't think I have either. Yeah, I don't. Uh, can I use charm instead? <laughs> Are we only uh, yeah, that'd be a, quite a stress to get. Okay, all right, all right. I'll try. I'll try for a slate. I'll try. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh! Wow, ten, ten out of ten. So okay, actually, all right. <laughs> I got the first one. Wow, nice. Give yourself a okay. check mark for that. That was nice. Right. Okay, all right. So uh, then, if I understood, you guys were just kind of, kind of, stake out and watch the uh, library. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it, ta it takes in about forty-five minutes to get there, uh, and you know, if you'd gotten a little bit better, it'd been a little bit quicker. Uh, they go in; they're inside for a bit, and as you expected, they do uh, bring bring him out. Uh, so we'll say he's in handcuffs. I'm, Guys, and they they're bringing him out, and all of you can give me a spot hidden. Oh, I don't I think know. I should. I think I should be around the street at coffee because I don't want to see Understood. Carl and be seen. I got a okay. one. Not whoa! Wow. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> okay, all right. So so as you're watching them lead him away suddenly johan just collapses and uh the, if you pass the spot hidden you see another gentleman walking uh, walking along he kind of stops and he pauses and especially with the one he gets this creepy leer on his face and he sees this fat, probably 12 year old girl he kind of turns and starts following her oh shit did you did you see that Yes. And the, oh, the police start tending to Johan, and you start hearing go, he, he's dead. He died. He just dropped dead. Oh, shit. We got we to gotta go. Should we go after him? Um, so, uh, Doctor, you and I go inside. We're going to go try and find this book. Max and Gustav, go go try and make sure he doesn't harm that girl. Stop him from yep, yep. Yep. Okay. All right. All right, so the doctor and I are going to rush inside, or at least I'm going to rush inside. Okay, you and the doctor rush inside. And I'm going to rush after. <laughs> okay. I'm going with Gustav. Yeah. Okay, Otto? Uh, when I hear the hubbub on the streets, I will uh, come around the corner and, and uh, pay my respects to old uh, Johan. Mm -hmm. But I think I'll be there too late to watch the other thing go away. So I'll maybe... A lounge outside in front of the library and see if there's any action. All right. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, so we'll go to Max and Gustav uh, chasing after the guy kind of creepily going on. What's your plan of action? Okay. Who do you want to be, Gustav? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try to – I've got a pretty good stealth. So maybe you, you – uh, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but you, you could maybe watch from afar a little bit. And I was going to try to – you know, follow him pretty close behind, and then if he gets close to her, I'm gonna pull out my baton and go for him. Yeah, I am. I am not very stealthy, so I will hang back a little bit. All right. All right. So you guys uh, sit there and watch for a bit. Uh, she is. Uh, you see her. She meets up with a uh, man. Looks like probably someone she knows. He gives her uh, a hug probably either her father or uncle. The uh, guy that 
kind of got that creepy look. He kind of stops, shakes his head, and he like rubs his rubs his head a, a bit. And then he's like, he turns back around and starts starts walking back. What do you make of that, Gustav? I, I think that Grossman or whatever just took took him over, but missed missed their chance, and so they had to cease, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That is wild how he was able to just jump from one point yeah. to the next. Yeah. That's so interesting. I mean, he could, he could be anywhere in the city at any time. That's what worries me. Terribly so. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess she's okay, so um, do you want to head back to the library? Yeah, let's uh, let's let, let, let's let's regroup with the others. Okay, all right. Um, so uh, Hans and Astrid, you guys uh, head into the library. There's no yeah. librarian there to assist you. Right. Um, I just immediately yeah. go back around behind the, the thing and I look for a restricted section. Yeah, I'm gonna look as well. Okay. Uh, well, give me a. Up, maybe. Yep, give me a library use, uh, but with a bonus die, because you guys have been here a couple of times. Library use. Oh, oh nine. Uh, okay, yeah, I passed uh, too, barely. All right. So you uh, find where uh, the uh, restricted section is, and um, you you said you went kind of behind the counter? Yeah, well, wherever yeah. it is, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, so, uh, yep, you see where that is, and you see the key ring hanging there. Normally, obviously, the library and would have right. to open the door for you, but there's, he's not there. All right, yeah, there's a key ring. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. All right. Well, you go on in. The restricted section is, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of old books in here. They're doing whatever it would they would have done in the 30s to preserve it, you know, and uh, kind of go through. With an 09, I'll say that you can you can find the De Vermis Mysteries. There's a hefty tome. Oh my goodness! Did you That's find gonna, it, Doctor? Yeah, I found it. It's going oh, to take God. me like hours to read. Oh God! Oh, just give it. Um, let me wrap it up in something. So I, I okay. wrap it up in my jacket. Sort of tuck okay. it in the All right. Well, you come walking out, and all. Uh, Otto, Max, and Gustav, as you are, as Max and Gustav's come back. Otto sitting there. The police, they kind of uh, jump back because as they were going to do a life-saving event they undid his uh his uh shirt and they you see that his uh neck and upper chest is covered with eyeballs and you know one of them one of them starts screaming the other one just uh cover covers him up and goes i don't know i don't know what's going on it's like we got to get an emmy out here now <laughs> I think they will have to hurry. I think he will uh, decay very quickly in the evening air. Uh, 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 I've never seen something like that before. Uh, I, yeah, he, he, um... Oh, so, so Gustav, since you've never seen something like that, Max yeah. and Otto have maxed out their sanity loss from seeing these things. So you can yeah. get a sanity. Uh, I, I passed, but uh, okay. say one or zero? No, or... It, it's zero for that, okay. yeah. Uh, Poor Hans. Hans is going to be so disappointed that he misses another monster. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so far, I've uh, seen nothing. All he has to do is keep me locked up for a couple of days at this rate. I think I'm traveling around with a bunch of lunatics. Since, since I've seen now three of these, right. is there anything uh, similar between them? No. No, it's almost like uh, uh, it's almost like they're shockingly different. In, right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because I mean, mm -hmm. one you know, long, disgusting neck, and then now there's all these eyeballs. It's it's very different. Mm-hmm. Kind of strange. Well, let's well, let's let's hope they're doing better with the book. I guess uh, we'll be ready to assist on the way out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, Hans and uh, Astrid, were you going to just remove the book from the library then? Yes. All right. 
Well, that'll be no problem. No one's watching, so there's no need to have tucked away, carrying a book out of a library, kind of a, the expected activity. So, all right. So you guys uh, come come out. You guys uh, all gather back around. The cops are kind of the police are roping off the area. And uh, and and getting it all taken care of. So uh, yes, uh, Max and Otto should have gotten Cthulhu Mythos for their bout of madness, but that was that was it. you guys got add that, that up later. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So you guys all meet up. Well, yes. I want to get back as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, look, look, cons. Look. Our apartment to Preet. Well, that was a, that went better than I expected. Yeah. So uh, now, where do we go for this translation? You have book of you have Latin dictionaries and things in your home. I, my Latin's actually pretty damn good. Um, we can we, let's just go back to out of the apart, our apartment. Yeah. Uh, we'll work there, but we'll need to restrain you, Otto, and uh, we'll need. I need somebody there uh, to, to watch over you. Yeah, yeah, I see. All right, I could start to interfere before you even get, yeah, I could take the book and, and throw it in the stove or something if it takes over. Yeah, yeah. Um, very good. So, uh, if, um, uh, uh Gustav, you have the restraining materials. Uh, I if suppose we can, just, if we can just buy some clothesline or something. Yeah, at the shop. Mm. Uh, I true. also I want as much laudanum as I can get in my gullet because mm. uh, I'm not going to sleep naturally. Well, I have plenty of that as my 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 place. It's, oh, I'm it's, a do medical doctor, so I probably do have all that stuff at my place. Mm -hmm. So you maybe we probably, need. I probably have those straps in case I had to strap somebody mm -hmm. down. So we have stuff to restrain. I mean, are we all going to be here for the um, for the attempt? I mean, we don't even know what we're attempting, but so, I would like somebody to watch <laughs> over yeah. Otto yeah. so that I can concentrate sure. on what I'm doing. I can do that. All right. Well, should we go to Otto's place then to do this? Well, let's go to my place because I've all got right. all the we'll medical to, stuff. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. All right, well, I'll go to Dr. Hans's house, get some straps for, for Otto. Mm. Um, all right, so uh, how how far away is uh, your home from uh, about the center of the city? In the how far? Area? It's probably in how the far? center of the city somewhere. All right, so takes you about, we'll say, 15 minutes to, to get there, unless you take public trans. If you just walk mm -hmm. in about 15 minutes, you get to Hans's place, which uh, is however your home is, Hans. <laughs> well, I was a doctor, so I had some yeah. money. Yeah, so mm -hmm. quite nice. But it's not a big place because my wife passed away, and I just don't need a big place to take care of. I probably have a housekeeper that comes in once a week and right. cleans up. Good. Okay. So, uh, Otto, uh, he, who's going to be... Uh, Strap an auto down and keep it an eye on him. Uh, I guess I'll. I will. <laughs> Gustav. Sounds good. Okay. So I I loosen the collar. I have uh, this one little bottle of schnapps to drink, and then we have a little laudanum party, and uh, I lie down. This is a nice soft feather bed you got here, Hans. Oh, it's for my back, you know. <laughs> Difficult. It's just and, firm uh, enough. Wunderbar. Now I will, will get to work. Yeah, I'll help out the doctor. Uh, uh, right. Translating if he needs it. It's just, just no table of contents. What's what's wrong with these Latins? Yeah, yeah it's uh, very rough. So you, give me a Latin roll there, Hans, because you're kind of skimming through it. 25 out of, I think it's 50 something. 56. So 25. Keeper, does, the, does the book have any sort of feeling for me when I first see this very mysterious? It does not. That's good. I don't want to feel this twinge in my brain. All right. Yep. One more yeah. cigarette before you tie me down. I don't know. <laughs> Jones. 
right. So you get uh, 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 auto tied down. So uh, Dave Ver Vermes Mysteries is uh, divided into 16 chapters, no table of contents. Uh, some of the major chapters are about divinate, divination arts, divination. necromancy, I know, creation of fam familiars, and other bizarre theories. So of the so the divination and the necromancy and the familiars, which one would you like to? Well, it with? would be it wouldn't be divination. That's seeing into the future. I would think uh, necromancy somehow Perhaps. being able to speak to or bring back the dead. That's what I think. What was the third right. category? Uh, creation of familiars. Familiars? No, I don't think it's that at all. All right, sounds good. Roll a, roll me a one d three. Should invent a one d three. Uh, one. One. Oh well, that's good. It takes you about an hour of working through until you find kind of where it is, and. Uh, for only an hour of reading, it's only 1d4 sanity for reading. Okay, 1d4. Three. Three, nice. And you get three points of Cthulhu Mythos for that also. Mm -hmm. And what you find is you do find a ritual that is uh, about getting rid of a uh, demon that's able to possess people after it's dead. Uh, what it's, what it, it requires is you must uh, perform the ritual beginning at midnight. It needs to be at a place of importance to the demon when it was alive. You need to have a, a focus of a, a fetish that was important to the demon when it was alive. And then I'll got the rest of the ritual here in this handout. So I have found something. Uh, uh, there is a ritual that we must do. Um, uh, we must prepare an area. We, we must go to the place, I think, uh, the, the hut in the garden. Uh, we need to find the doll. The doll will will work. Mm -hmm. um, but to prepare the area, we need to inscribe a summoning circle using chalk or maybe traced in, so we need chalk. Uh, we could trace it in the dust as a surface as chalk, I think is a good idea. Um, three are required to be there throughout the ritual. They must all stand within the circle with the fetish sitting in the center of the inscribed space. More may participate but the number of participants, participants must be divisible by three. Uh, others may stand by guarding the sacred area, ready to step in and replace those unable to continue. That's rather dramatic. Um, and then there are instructions, uh, which I don't want to do because they have magical words. Um, I mean, I don't want to read them out loud right now. I should get to that for the time. And, uh, oh, dear God, we're going to have to start this at midnight and do it until the sun rises in the east. Mm -hmm. So at least six hours of doing this. Well, I suppose we, we ought to make some coffee. Yeah. Uh, and, Doctor, I agree with you. It sounds like that uh, the, the shed and the, the doll sound like the, the, exact, the, the exact thing. Yeah. Now, what time is it now? Uh, well, you guys got done at the library a lot quicker than I thought you would. So we'll say it's seven. We got about five hours. Seven o'clock. Now I am thinking that uh, Gustav has the right idea. We need to have some people armed in case they try to stop us. Yeah, I'm especially worried about the landlady. If she hasn't already succumbed, she may come around again. Yeah, I think she'll be far, for, far more deteriorated. Don't you yeah. think? Yeah, I she think most likely be very dangerous if she saw me again. I'm almost thinking that you might do better with the garden implements. If you have shovels and rakes, you could fight her off with those better than with a gun. It is possible. Her neck was very long. It would give me more reach. Because the gun might make too much noise. People come running to see what happens. 
Yeah, and yeah. we need to keep this up until morning. I must say, I worry about this a little bit. Um, you know, I, we don't know how many people Zolandity has in her family, right? But they probably all eat the sausage. So even if she's a pile of goo now, maybe she's got space strapping sons. Yeah, maybe. And if there need to be three people the whole time, uh, and you're, I mean, if it's just the three, if you, Gustav is here watching me, I'm sleeping on your first bed, then you don't have any protection at all. Uh, Otto and Max, when you went to the, the landlady's place, were there any other residents? Or were there any other people There were people fluttering there? around. Uh -huh. I don't think so anyone lives yeah. there, but I think there's plenty of uh, activity during the day. I think at night it's, you know, because it's gardens, I think it's probably just one house, but. Well, hopefully. perhaps we could restrain the, the landlady during the evening. What if we did it in his apartment? She may notice, she may hear something or call well, the yeah. police or something. If we do that in the garden, they might notice, other mm -hmm. people might notice. If we do it in his apartment, we can close the door. Yeah. We might, might bother us at all. But do we yeah, need the... Postman's apartment was definitely a significant place to him. That's, yeah. why, that's why he got yeah. caught. But is, will there be a, a fetish in there? Or a we'll totem? We'll the doll. The we'll go get the doll, okay. Uh, do you think any one of the, the gnomes would be a fetish too? Doll or I not? don't know. I don't know. That doll seemed to be very important. There may I be think a doll if the doll is still there, that's important. But yeah, I think we, we you know, our guest was there was one troll per victim. We must. So, so should, can we, can we just go there now and start, well, we have to start at midnight, but yeah. should we kind of scope out the area first or? Yeah, what, we can neutralize prepare. any. Yeah, I have chalk in my house, so I can so, go grab chalk. Now, does the Vermis Mysteries contain a summoning circle? It does. It shows you what it, it looks right. like. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is uh, medieval magic, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you have to believe it to make it work. But uh, if we do it, I think we believe it because you know, Grossman. We have no other choice. Mm. It's just so odd to be relying on the superstitious. Otto. Otto, yeah. we do this because you are a friend and we love you. And I yeah. hope our love will be strong enough to keep you safe. And we drive this man to whatever head he deserves to go to. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe tonight you finally get to see yourself a monster, Hans. I hope because I drive it away. There are plenty of them around. So, I, which brings me again to my point. Maybe if I'm knocked out on Zalotnam and tied up, then Gustav can at least watch over you. Because I don't think the three people doing the magic want to be totally alone. Yeah. 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 I I I, I agree. I I wonder if we start to perform this magic if it would somehow alert Grossman. It might. I find I'll stand it guard. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a feeling he's watching his little hideous hut in the garden all the time with one mm -hmm. set of eyes or another. Mm -hmm. huh. And again, oh, you know, I'm perfectly happy to, to, to snort six lines of cocaine and stand guard also, but I understand if you think at any minute I'm going to well, well, you know, if you were completely restrained and Grossman possessed you, he would be restrained. Of course, we don't right. know what kind of, if you start growing eyes and, and legs and tentacles. Oh, uh, yeah, I go to more hands and untie the knots. So restraints, yeah, might not mean us, anything. And if I'm unconscious, maybe it's easier for them to take me. Yeah? The woman came while I slept. Well, I think maybe, he maybe should be a... conscious restrained, unfortunately. Perhaps you should come with us then, just so we can keep an eye on you so nothing happens to you. I also don't think if he comes in my body, he can't be in other bodies. I think he goes, I think he's in 20 people at any minute. 
I mean, after all, we know he kills a bunch of women each night in different bodies. I don't even know if it's him inside exactly, because it's also the goddess, yeah? Does it, is the name in that book, Abe Zul? Um, so I read across the name. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, well, no. Uh, I did not run across this name, no. But I haven't read the whole book. There's much to the book. Seems like we have the correct uh, uh, strategy, though. Um, should uh, would, would would you all like me to go maybe investigate the site or kind of scope it out first before we get set up, or should we just head over there at midnight? I think we should go there now. Yeah, and and scope it out. Uh, I think uh, uh, Huberman, see if you can find some weapons. Okay. Some I think uh, Otto, Otto, we're going to leave you strapped to the bed. What do you think? If we give you some drugs? I, yeah, I mean, no, no, when we talk about it, I think, yeah, I should be awake because I can, to some extent, I can oh. fight it off when I'm awake. All right, we leave you awake then. You won't be really comfortable. I can put some music on for you. But hopefully, once this thing is driven out, then you'll suddenly come back to normal. Mm, normal. Do you, do you <laughs> want to come with us, Otto, or do you want to stay at, your, at, at, doc, at the doctor's house? This is, the, this, is the, uh, this is what we cannot know, yeah? Whether it's safer for me to be there to protect you, or safer for me to be locked up tight, where I can uh, become some monster. I, I, I can tell you that I felt them trying to get in earlier, and that I could keep it at bay. Oh, uh, strong man. And I cannot say that I relish the idea of doing a couple of bumps of cocaine and then being tied up for twelve hours. Maybe you guys go go and get killed, and that I'm tied up here for a week or two before I starve to death. That's that's not a pretty picture. I agree. Well, then well I think perhaps. Go ahead. Well, I, I think that you know perhaps you, you should uh, scope it out, and I'll see about getting some weapons, and then. I mean, I, I don't think we should leave Otto tied up if we if we tie him up. For we'll, we'll have to come back before we execute the plan. Okay. Well then, I'll I'll go ahead and head over to to the shed or to the, the apartment. I don't think anybody should be going anywhere alone. Yeah. Okay. Um, Who would like to come with me? I will go with you. Yeah, it'd be Hans and you, and then Max and I, I suppose. Uh, should I see about the militants, and or should I see? Does anybody know anybody on the black market? I mean. Oh, uh, I know some people who can give you guns, I'm sure. I would see if you oh, can yeah. get a hold of them. I was like, for sure, Otto would know. I was mm -hmm. going to say, Gustav, you could give me a law ro roll to see if you knew any people on the black market. But Otto knows knows people for sure because that's sure. his character. So, mm -hmm. Well, if, if you can hook, a, hook uh, you know, Max and I up, we can take some of our assorted funds and get us a couple. You know, I, you know I'd, I'd prefer a rifle if we can, but uh, a handgun is better concealed maybe for one of you all. Is anybody good with a, a weapon other than me? I've never shot a gun. Yeah, there. <laughs> Otto? No, very good. All right. I was, I'm not such a great marksman, but I did okay in the world. I'm still alive. Uh, I also have my, you know, this, the, this cane of mine, you know, has a pretty sharp blade in it, so. Right, right. We can also barricade ourselves in the room. Mm. So hopefully we, we may be able just to keep them out. Right. Well, I mean, I just, you know, if, if I had a rifle to be better, just in case shit. Yeah, really hits the I mean, I'd rather have yeah. one in this circumstance, but we should also find things we can use to barricade the door. And mm -hmm. I like the gardening tools idea. Well. That's not a bad idea, because those are quiet, like you said. They won't make any so, noise. I suppose, if you, Otto, if you can hook, uh, Max and I can go procure a rifle from somebody, uh, if you can hook yeah. us up. There's a fellow named Dietrich. Uh, he okay. is at the, at the Blue Angel Club. Uh, if you get, tell him my name, he's a pretty, pretty reliable guy. Uh, his his uh, 
his devices are less likely to blow up in your hand, which is the problem with some of the import stuff as a war leftovers he's actively bringing in. So we'll type, right. type the trick first. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, also it's early. I'm, I, I will go in and make the arrangements. I'm not going to just lie here twiddling my thumbs and looking at the book, doctor's library, most of which I can't read anyway. Is that Greek? That's Greek, yeah. yeah. So we'll go and pick up a couple sure. of, yeah. Uh, you, you know, I, I don't mind you coming with. I'll, I'll keep an eye on you. Yeah. So it's a question I have here. It's you know, if something happens and my eyes go strange. Understood. Put me down quick like a dog. Well, uh, I'll just knock you out, but I understand. All right. So, so sounds like we got it. Yeah. <laughs> so Otto and Gustav are going to get weapons. Max, were you joining them? Or, um, uh, I, I didn't hear what you were doing. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can go with them. Sure. Okay. Then what can possibly go wrong? That's right. You and Otto together, the winning combination. And exactly. then, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm here this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and then uh, Astrid and Hans, where you guys headed? Uh, we're just going to go scope out the uh, the landlady, kind of see where if she's still in the picture, see if there's anyone around that we may need to take care of or distract, um, and just kind of get a lay of the land. Can we say also that once I had found what I was looking for, is that I copied out the text on the diagram onto another piece of paper, so I don't have to carry the whole book with me. Right, yeah. Uh, the only thing I was wondering was, uh, ah, okay. There's a certain sign that I need to make. All right, very good. And then I'll stop at a shop or something on the way over and grab some chalk. Okay. I'm going to purchase some chalk. Well, so right. you guys should uh, definitely, will, uh, you should discuss the whole plan, right? I understand how you don't want to say the magic words, but you, uh, Hans, I trust all will be well, yeah? But if something yeah. happens to you, then Austin should know how to continue his process and the rest of us to whatever extent possible, yeah? Yeah, I have it all written down here. So... That is that is very distressing too. It makes me think very much, you know, like in the exorcism. Sometimes the demon is very violent. Um, uh, it says to have people there to replace. Um, I hope so it just I means because be you're well tired after six. I hope it just means you're tired after six hours of doing it. But uh, do you have an almanac here, Hans? You can see what hours the sunrise is. Uh, yeah, I imagine those that we can see it out the window. Um, I'll find it, uh, uh, an almanac. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, the sun will rise about 5.15, actually. Uh, this God, morning, that Finn makes June. it very easier. Yeah, so 45 <laughs> minutes less. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. All right, so uh, Otto, Max, and Gustav, you guys go head out to get the weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, all of you give me a spot hidden for the uh, travel there. I did not pass. I have just been terrible spot hidden all, all game. Uh, that's, a, that's a regular pass for me. All right. Good you thing know. I got an 89. Oh, nice. All right, so uh, you go out there, and as you travel along, Max, you see uh, members of the Earhart Brigade kind of go, go, going around. They seem like they're sneaking around. And they do look armed, so uh, like they're they're getting set up for some event that you know, which would make sense with all the weapons that Gustav saw in their apartment when they were there. Okay. But yeah, uh, the streets are uh, pretty much uh, cleaned out. They uh, all the murders that have been taking place, people are starting to try and avoid being out on the street they're definitely calling their children home much earlier than uh, normal not letting them play outside and keeping an eye on everything uh you meet dietrich and uh he is able to procure procure you some weapons what kind of weapons well what kind of weapons would you would you like otto you have never known you to like guns 
Yeah, we have a special occasion. I'm, uh, I haven't liked guns since the war so much, you know, but uh, you, I don't know, you see, first of all, the goons from the Air Hub Brigade everywhere in the streets. They make me nervous, but also they have to go and do uh, some dealings with a criminal much less respectable than you are, Dietrich. Uh, and he might, I suspect, we maybe have the double cross. So uh, you said, Gustav, you like a rifle, but you maybe yeah. you have, yeah, all right. Uh, I think something uh, that I can stick in my pocket is better for me. I'm a, a bit of a luger. Oh, yeah, no problem. And he goes back into the back room uh, when he opens it up. You know, he's got all these stacks of uh, war surplus uh, weapons back there. So he's able to uh, provide you a Luger. As for a uh, rifle, uh, they would have been using a, uh, we'll say it's a, a 45 Martini uh, in Henri rifle. Okay. Uh, how about you, uh, your other friend? Did you want anything? Um, I'll, I'll have what Otto's having. Oh, oh, it's like a restaurant. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yes, he, uh, yes. he provides you a luger, and he's like, uh, "Otto, I uh, put it on your tab, or uh, or you, you to pay up at the end of the month." You're uh, you're talking so quietly, it's like you're muted. <laughs> you know, I always get stuck. The group, the chat window means I can't use the space bar to unmute. Really, I wish gets my way. So, uh, uh, I think uh, I don't know where I'm going to be at the end of the month. I might be doing some serious traveling shortly. Uh, so, uh, I'll write you a note. Uh, if I don't pay up by the end of the week, you can go by the barrel box and there'll be uh, full funds for you and a, a little extra cognac for the short notice. No problem, Otto. You've always paid up. That's why I, I like dealing with you and helping you out. He's like, God, uh, uh, avoid those uh, those thugs out on the street, though. You know they, they they're a little heavily more heavily armed than I'm able to uh, provide. Yeah, they uh, they think they're on the streets these days. We're going to have to deal with that at some point. They want to put us all out of business and lock up all the women and, and the sellers also. Yeah, kill Joyce. Yeah, I, precisely. They missed the old days. Ooh, Prussian shitheads. Oh, well. Well, let's uh, have a uh, toast for a good business deal and then uh, see you. That's good. Prost. Prost. Okay. And then uh, Astrid, what, what were you doing? Sorry. Okay, so we are uh, we're checking out the 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 shed, um, the shed. conditions. Yeah. The conditions uh, that's right. That okay. Yeah. All right. So so you head out out there. Uh, you guys can give me a spot hidden on the journey also to see if you notice all the uh, militants moving. Eighty nine. Oh three. Oh three. Yep. You see uh, them moving around, and an O three is an extreme. Yeah, no, that, that's automatically an extreme. Yeah. Oh, so uh, you see that uh, some of them even have uh, those old pineapple grenades that the uh, Germans used at the time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're yeah. These boys are ready for something. They're they're ready to go tonight. This may provide us with a, a decent distraction, actually. Some sort of military coup. Hopefully, hopefully my my Trotskyist friends are also uh, armed and ready for this. Mm -hmm incursion yeah all right so you make it out to the uh, gardens uh it is uh getting to that kind of dusk the uh night setting uh there you don't see anyone anyone uh there moving about because like i said the most uh, good citizens are locking themselves indoors once the sun starts going down that's what won't you see if the land maybe it's here Okay, so you go to the uh, landlady's uh, little yeah. cottage. She has. But what I'm going to do before I do that, if we go to the shed first, I'm going to grab a rake. Okay. All right. So you go to the shed first. When you go to the shed, you see it is just how uh, Max and Otto described it. Um, you know, so any of the 
little gnomes that Max Perfect. would have taken down, she didn't put back. So, but there is a rake there for you to grab. Okay. All right. All right. Then you come to the uh, the cottage, the little cottage right. she has. Okay. You want to knock or uh, what do you want to do? Yeah, I'll knock. Okay. Uh, there is no answer. There's no okay. answer. I think she's There's no one else around. She's probably dead. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. If she was that extreme, and we haven't heard of someone who can mutate that extremely and survive. Right. Um, it's, you know, and it's, and it's out of yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think she she probably overextended herself when then, when she fully embraced her her demon ness. See then what happens if we grab one of the the dolls, the fetishes. Okay. Okay. So you go pick up one of the gnomes then. I'll I'll, yep. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, yep. You get it down. Yep. It's a it's a garden gnome. I flip it over to see if there's like a hole with a doll in it. There is not. There is a hole, but there's no doll stuffed in it. <laughs> Let's check them all. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, with the two of you working together, maybe it takes you about 10 minutes because you're probably not worried about preserving kitschy gnomes. Right. Super. <laughs> but I'm not going to swarm on the doll. Yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, I'm not worried about setting them back exactly where they were and everything. Right. So, yeah. Uh, no, there is no doll. I would have to use one of these. Maybe she has a doll in the house. Yeah. She, because he threw back the doll, right? He threw yeah. the doll back to her. Yeah. Okay. Is there like yeah, any she... big blobby stain or anything in the garden on the grass or like where nope. she exploded? No. <laughs> yeah, there is not. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to the house then and break into the doll. Okay. All right. Uh, Give me a strength roll. Yeah, I got a 72 out of 45. I'm not that strong. It's like, oh, geez. Can I try? Sure. All right, all right. Maybe together. I can try. Nope. <laughs> all right. We'll try together. Or we'll try together. We'll try together. All right. So whoever's the strongest, roll with the bonus. Uh, I have a 60. What do you have? I'm a 45. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Astrid's tough. Been lifting scalpels. All right. I did pass barely. All right. So yeah, you, you kind of, uh, it pops, uh, pops the door jam breaks. And uh, you come in and uh, give me a constitution check for the smell. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good, strong German woman. Uh, okay. I'm fine. I got okay. it upstream. Oh, I'm not so fine. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Ugh, okay. disgusting. Oh my god. So now we're going to find it. Yeah. Yeah. She's in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. So you come into the main hallway. You see, uh, you know, the, there's two doors. So you got uh, one to the on the left and one on the right. Okay. I still have my right. Um, okay. Uh, to the right one first. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you open up the right right door, uh, and when you open it up, you see this dog kind of feasting on what's left of a mutated body. It looks up and it starts growling at you. What kind of dog? Uh, like a shepherd. Okay. A German shepherd? No. Yeah, no, just a shepherd in Germany. <laughs> Shut the door, shut the door. Yeah, I close it real quick. All right. okay. That could be where she is, where she, where she Yeah, is. let's check this other room. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna open up the left door. Right. I right, open up the left door, that is her bedroom. And uh, give me a spot hidden, Astrid. Pass. Pass. Uh, you do see underneath the pillow one of the doll's a doll's arm kind of sticking out like she kind of shoved it under the pillow. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. I'll I'll take it out. Now I didn't see it before, so is this it? I, I haven't seen it either. Oh, yeah, I, it is a... 
I would have to confirm with the others. Yeah. But, uh, for but for now, we take well, it with us. Now we take this, yeah. Okay. So now we want to go to the room where Grossman was. And we, can we can prepare, well, the room where he stayed. Ah, oh, his apartment. Yeah, isn't that here too? Yeah, do we want the apartment or the shed? It is not. And there's apartments over near the Andrea plots. Yeah. Oh. The apartment's different. Do you want Why did he here? come all the way over here to do the... All right, well... I it... feel like this this place is probably the mo more important since this is where he kept all of his fetishes. Okay. So if we're going to have to what clear the think? floor of the place, yeah. so we can draw the symbol. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I'll help, I'll help Dr. Hans get everything prepared all for right. the Sunday circle. Okay. Now, this might seem like a leading question, but Astrid, when's the last time you used cocaine? <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and go up here. Let's see. Okay. Um, so I recently used um, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So you're, so you go into the shed. And you, uh, you guys start getting it prepared and all? Yeah. So who's going to do the drawing? I'll do the drawing. You'll do the drawing. Okay. You, no problem. It's a circle with two triangles. Almost, it almost looks like a Jewish star, but it's not quite a Jewish star. Right. You just got to make sure Astra doesn't run around behind me sniffing up all the white powder on the floor when I'm using, <laughs> using the chalk. I just got to run out real quick. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you get that that drawn and uh, all uh -huh. set up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Astrid comes back in. Yeah. Powders her nose. <laughs> Literally. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, here uh, you need to look over this so you can see it. Okay. Um, and I'll I'll confirm the, the summoning circle with them and make sure it's yeah. accurate. Okay. That's good. Cool kind of explain some of it to you because you see there's some gestures that we need to make. Okay. I'm not sure if we all make the same gesture or if I make the gesture and yours is the chanters, but we will do it whatever way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm also going to start finding things to barricade the door with, um, like and collecting any tools or garden tools that are around and yeah. Finding nails and wood and stuff like that. That'd be no problem with all the yeah. sheds Detritus. around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Guys, head back to get, gather with your team. Um, no, I think they're going to wait here until they can join us with us. All right. That was what I assumed. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So, what time does uh, Max, Gustav, and Otto head head over there? Uh, you know, I think uh, once our business with Dietrich is complete, uh, I will have we have a couple of dumplings upstairs because it's going to be a long night and they will be starving all night. Mm -hmm. uh, and then off to uh, Max. Are you ready to go back to the little garden plot? I'm. I'm as ready as I'm going to get. Uh, um, I, I have to say, I don't like the guns in general, but I'm feeling this heavy weight in my pocket. I, it's, a, it's a little nicer if you run into the, the, the long-necked lady. Yeah, yeah, it, it make me feel a little more confident, yeah. maybe. Right. Uh, and we'll bring a couple of dessert somethings for the others in case they didn't get food already. Makes sense. <laughs> I'll wrap my right. rifle up in the coat as we walk in. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, you guys make it out there, no problem. Uh, the streets are even more empty, and uh, the Earhart Brigade's not moving around anymore. But if you, uh, now that you know to kind of look for him, you do see him kind of uh, parked out in alleyways and other strategic points of the city. Yeah. And Mark, so Gustav, I don't have to tell you, if anybody gives us any trouble, we just say Manfred Killinger sent us. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. 
I think be, because we know Killinger, you know, because we know the, the Baron and, and his friends, it's, we might as well use those connections. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, meet, meet up with them. Uh, he's got to see uh, Hans has the circle all drawn out. And I guess they have, what, a couple of lanterns inside his shed? Yeah. And it's probably very dark as isn't that, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. And his place was pretty isolated. He wasn't like on the very edge of the same. So we have a little bit of peace and quiet. Uh, and oh, I see Astrid's energetically dragging some chicken wire around the windows. It looks like uh, she's uh, very bright-eyed in the darkness. Uh, yes, yeah, just trying to keep safe. We won't have to worry about the landlady, though. Don't worry about her. She's she's taking care of herself. Oh, uh, good. Uh, yeah, it seems like she wouldn't be much uh, use these days anyway. There's no one else in the house. She doesn't have a strapping son. No, no, she has a dog. No yeah. God, I don't think they're given to dogs, but what an awful thought. Yeah, the dog seems to be enjoying enjoying their final moments together. Oh, yeah. oh it's a poor thing. Yeah. The dog, I mean. Mm. Oh. Okay, so this is the magic working. Now what, we want to... Um, Gustav, you want, should we be outside watching the night while they do the... But one of you needs to join me. He needs three people. Uh, on to be, but we all need to learn the ritual. So I, I will go over it a few times. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I think I should. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I got us. I got two thermoses of coffee and some strudel also for when it gets Perfect. cold and tired. Fantastic. But that's so, crazy. sorry to clarify. Is it is it you as the main person and three or three total, Hans? It's three total. Okay, so it's there must it, be at least three. Right. So I think we need the three of you, uh, and then uh, I, I'll be on guard, and then perhaps if, if Otto uh, is is okay, he can also guard. Yeah, you so this is a big question. Otto. Right. Yeah. Maybe we make a maybe we make a we go around the shed, right? Keeping out the eye, and when you pass me you see uh, whether I am <laughs> yeah. or you just time me up now, but then I can't do anything when they come out of the darkness. Perhaps I, we should stick together, and so that way I can keep an eye on you. Oh, that's maybe a good idea, yeah. By now, I'm sure it's been described, the thing with the, the man passing Johan mm -hmm. and, and changing. So we know there's something, at first it gives you away, maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, Astrid, Hans, did you see all the uh, Erhard guys out there? It looks like they're preparing to take the city by storm. Yeah, they, they definitely have something big planned. They're, they're carrying around uh, grenades and oh, high grenades. explosives. Yeah. Do you think, uh, Doctor, that has something to do with Anastasia? Is that I why they're... I don't know why it would. They, they, she's a princess of Russia. Yeah, but say any one, mon one monarchy is one more monarchy, yeah? Do they want some monarchy back? Some of them do. Um, Maybe they get into fights on the street tonight and nobody notices us in here shooting zombies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are, there, are there any windows in the shed or any way to look out from inside? Yes. Yep. Okay, then I, I think perhaps we should all be inside and barricade the door then. Right. Wonder if the windows is broken a little bit. You see, I've still got the... Right. Oh, yeah. Good window for me to set up in. <laughs> we'll, we'll clear out the glass. So, Hans, you're going to teach everyone the uh, ritual? Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so everyone that is trying to learn the ritual, give me an intelligence roll. Astrid with a penalty dice because of your uh, recent ingestion. <laughs> ah. I pass. Nice. So I now is focus. now is when I get the double mark of the Necronomicon saying a hundred. So if no, you have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. I can't say those words. <laughs> yeah, I've been locked off from it. I uh, I, I have a hard success. I I also have a hard success. Okay. Okay. Right. So there's gestures. Well, there's 
you're facing this direction or this direction. It's not precisely clear, but we'll do what we think is for the correct thing. Yeah. Hans, that is east, though. That, yeah. that is due east, not that's you're east. a little bit east, northeast over there. We, are, we, are, we need to start facing east, and we are going to make the sign of the stars, which uh, I think is like east. something like that. It's a, to, to draw an onk in the air. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it matters which way to go, like spectacles, testicles, wallet, cigar kind of thing. Like a, like a cross on yourself, I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna cross where we cross our hands and we bow. I'm not gonna lie, it's a good thing I'm on guard because you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're, you're kind of, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just quite honest uh -huh. hoping that the GM does actually make us do the ritual of course yeah <laughs> all right okay so midnight is approaching so uh way i understand it, hans max and astrid are going to be the ones doing the ritual yeah yeah all right so you all step into the uh circle and uh with hans uh maybe timing it because i picture he'd have a watch at midnight, he uh, has you uh, begin your ritual. You face east in the long past, yeah, I assume. Uh, yeah. Past you. <laughs> and we declare, Geh! Then we raise the arms at the sides. We raise the arms at the sides and we declare, Londo. Yeah, maybe like this. Then we touch our right shoulder with our left hand and declare odd me calzo. Then the left shoulder with the right hand and declare odd boost. Uh, then keeping the arms crossed, we bow our head and declare go shed. Uh, and then we make the, the uh, you said it was like a star. So it's probably referring right. to the point of the star. Right. We make make the make the, the gesture whatever it is uh at the first point and we declare x up and then at the second point we declare ro i ba a o zippy we turn and we face north we do the same thing but this time we say nanta and modial then we turn west we make the same gesture and we say Hakoma at the uh, first point and uh, in P Arsenal girls at the second point and then we turn to the south and we make the gesture and we declare Pitom and at the first point we say op opitie pdokhe right. and then we repeat the whole thing right. over uh, and over and over. All right, so the three participants give me a 1d4 plus three, and that's how many magic points you will lose. Six. Oh. Seven. Nice. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, so you guys keep doing that for uh, the uh, first hour. Uh, the two keeping watch, give me a spot hidden. Okay. Uh, all right, 15. 15. I failed. So it's hard. 75. All right, so Otto's maybe uh, worried about what, if this is going to work. Gustav. It sounds you... kind of silly, I have to say. This is my life on the line. <laughs> So, uh, Gustav, you see a uh, a woman kind of sneaking from shed to shed, moving inexorably toward you. Mm. Like, Otto, look, looks like we've got our first um, curious cat. It's just what we're doing here. Oh, shit, I say. Okay. Um, if there's one, there might be more. How far away is she? Uh, we'll say... Uh, 50 yards. Okay, we've got a little time. Um, so I think we want to not shoot if we can avoid, yeah? Right, we, we don't want to go loud just yet. We've got hours. Yeah, yeah. 
So I'm going to go once around the shed to see if there's two on the far side. Uh, and I'll be back, you know, much faster than she gets here. She doesn't know we've seen her, yeah? And I think maybe we try uh, my sword cane and your club. Okay. If she gets close enough. Mm. Uh, and if as soon as I can see her face, I'll, I'll, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I think if I call out Carl, she'll answer. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So you got to go around the back. You don't see anyone else coming. And she is uh, continually coming coming toward the shed. I think we are clear up equal stuff at the moment. Let's uh, see if we can let her think we don't know she's there. All right, chat about mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. uh -huh. I say if, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> we'll, we just uh, might as well just, uh, you know, do our job and then go home, right? Uh, just got to, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> So maybe we'll right. play a little bit of dice too. It's gonna to boring around one. Mm. Oh yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah, throw some dice. You know, put put a few. Uh, I mean, it's not like the it's not like our betting is gonna really matter anyway by tomorrow. Uh, and uh, when she gets uh, about uh, twenty five yards from you, she breaks into a sprint and starts running toward the uh, the shack. All right, I'm gonna get ready to whack her. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see here. You're you are faster than she is, so you will huh. get a swing first. Right. But she does yep. see you. Let's, so <laughs> let's go. You right, got a sixty in brawl. You're swinging that club of your. The yep. Baton yeah, like my little right. baton. Yep. Right. Oh shit. Uh oh, <laughs> no, that's a fail. All uh, right. Auto. <laughs> well, I've got my sword and cane. It's already. Okay. Fuck off, Carl. Mm. Are you swinging? Oh, straight for the straight for the upper chest. All right, give me uh, an attack. All right, my sword cane is at sixty-five, and I roll a fifteen. Nice. Roll, roll your damage. Two. Is that one d six plus d eight? Yes. Yeah. That's a good swing. Mm -hmm. It's 1d6 plus your damage bonus. Oh, D DB, not D8. That makes okay, sense. yeah, that makes more sense. I was like, wow. There's a sword game. <laughs> okay, so that's only four I got because I have no damage bonus. Okay, four points. And you hit her and her right across her right arm, which separates easier than you think it should. It kind of comes off, then horrifyingly, like in Evil Dead, it starts moving on its hand towards you. And now it's her turn, so she actually stops, and she uh, pukes bloody vomit at you. Oh, jeez. And uh, you guys, uh, Gustav, you can give me a sandy roll. Otto's max. All roll. right. <laughs> uh, I passed. All right, I passed. 54. Okay, only one point of sanity for that. All one. right. Okay. All right. Slowly losing it. <laughs> Slowly. All right. So, uh, but uh, our, for the vomit, do you want to dodge? Uh... Uh, All right. Sure. All right, give me a dodge roll. Uh, no. Unfortunately, right. no, that's a 90. So it hits you straight on. It's a, oh, geez. It's burning. It's acidic. It does uh, five points. And give me a luck roll. Oh, okay. All right, that was a 62. So uh, I have 66. So okay, I passed the so... luck roll, but I've taken significant damage now. Okay. All right, uh, I'm at you... nine. You're at nine, so nine you didn't out of lose? fourteen. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, you were able to get your eyes closed, so your eyes didn't get acid in. Okay, your that's eye. good. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you, so you take take that. Uh, the guys inside, you keep keep doing your chant. Uh, you hear uh, Gustav kind of scream. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Back to Gustav. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's try to hit her again. Okay, give me a swing. You should have given him a gun. Oh. 
<laughs> nope, I missed again. <laughs> as well as he's swinging. <laughs> All right, uh, Otto. Okay, then we try the sword cane right down the middle. All right, right down the middle. All right, take a swing. And if we don't get it this time, we start shooting, yeah? Yeah, unfortunately. I don't want to start 20, shooting. 26 is good. Yeah, 26 is uh, hard. Hard, okay. Roll your damage. 26 only. Two. Ugh. So Two? much for the sword cane. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you hit hit her, it kind of splits her, and then and it starts pulling apart, and you know, look like the uh, veins that come out almost like little phalan tentacle like phalanges, kind of sw swinging, and oh, uh, but it did not take her down. All Is right. the hand still moving? Yep. It's if it's sitting near me, I'm stomp, stomp, stomping it. No, it's going after Gustav. It's almost like she's not attacking you. Oh. <laughs> All right, so Gustav, you've got the hand attacking your, uh, oh, going, going after your calf. What do you want to do? Want to try uh, to uh, it or... I'll try to can I fight back. I'll fight yep, back this yep, time. Yep, you can fight back. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> um, I got a 69. Can I, can I spend nine luck with sure, that? You, you sure All can, right. but. Yeah. Did she beat me, though? <laughs> no, no, she missed. So. Okay, good. Then, yeah, that'll hit. Hell, yeah. So I'll, I'll spend nine. That'll bring me to. Uh, 57 uh, luck. All right. And then, all right. So it's a D8. It's my D8. Uh, six. Six damage. All right. So you kind of ah! crack, crack down on it and you hit it and it only had one hit point. So you, when you hit it, it almost like bursts like it was a sack full of pus. Or, but now she she's going to swing at you with her other hand that she has because she's standing. You want to fight back or... Uh, Dodge that one. Uh, me? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll fight back again. This is disadvantage, right? right? Uh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. So that's uh, okay. So it's either 16 or uh, 46. So still a hit. Beats my 99. All right. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, three. <laughs> three. All right. So, okay. And we'll roll to see where you hit her. You cracked her upside the head, so her head kind of cracks to the side. You see, like, maybe the vertebra starting to poke out through the skin, but uh, she's still kind of moving around. All right, now it comes up to your turn. Uh, uh, sure. Um, uh, uh, I think uh, this is working well so far. Let's try again. We'll let her again. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's 58 this time. It's a hit. Okay. Roll your damage. Uh, two. So two more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys are really knocking, knocking her around there. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm trying. And, and Otto. Uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, I, I'm so disgusted. I want to pull out the gun, but we've been quiet so far. So I, wanna, I might as well just give one more slash. She's, you know. All right. She's not Sounds moving good. as fast as she was. She is not. All right, so for 65 again, 38, that's a regular. Okay. And then, come on, well, uh, two. Two. Uh, I need she, to sharpen this thing up. That, that hit, that, that did it. She only, she didn't have that many. So you, when you hit across her though, she kind of starts, her skin starts bubbling up and she starts kind of puffing up and starts uh, almost like geysers of, uh, blood starts shooting out. You guys can make a dodge roll or just take it? I'll, I'll try to dodge. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try to dodge that. I don't have much luck, so. Uh, oof. <laughs> no, I failed that mm. one, though. Yeah, 60 mm. failed. Let's All see. Right, so, so pink will be auto. So auto, three points of damage, and Gustav, two. Okay. So not, not All roll. right. All right. All right. So Seven. The, yeah. Oh God! Oh. And, it's, and it's acidic, so it's kind of like burning oh. on you, hurting. Oh. All right. Oh. So the ones doing the chant, give me a. You guys have been going for a bit. Give me a Constitution roll. Astrid with a bonus die. I got a five. Oh yeah, you're like going up. I'm I'm doing this. Yeah, doing something. I I I passed. Yeah. I I rolled a ninety nine. Oh, okay. 
So uh, you see Max starting to kind of like uh, waver. Okay. Pull yourself together, Max. Keep going. I'm, I'm sorry. I got my left and right mixed up. Good. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. I'll make note of that. All right. So as the chant goes on, um, Otto, give me a power roll. As you start feeling like this pressure in inside of you. Yeah, that's an 82 for okay. 60. All right. All right. Well, Ooh. too bad for you. All right. So as, as you guys are chanting along, the doll stands up and it starts taking on almost a fleshy appearance to it. And and Gustav and Otto on the outside, you see Otto suddenly kind of bent, mm. uh, bent over like he's just, you have this severe, severe stomach pain, more than you Oof. can tolerate with that. And you, you almost feel like you need to, you start dry heaving. Hey, Otto, uh, you doing all right over there? I think. Let me get the cuffs on you. Um. I, 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 maybe it's because it's working. It, it hurts very much, though. So uh, you start feeling this thing coming up through you, and when it gets to your neck, it feels like it's bigger than what should possibly go through your neck, and you actually feel the scar, your w scar that you have, actually feel like it starts pulling apart, almost like it's unzip, like it's, Almost like it'd be unzipping. And see, Gustav, you see like some blood starting to come out, uh, oozing out of the wound there, but not bursting out like a like the prostitute. Right. And then yeah, uh, Otto, you're like, and you puke up this hum homunculus. It's like, and you feel better, but you know, give me a constitution rule not to pass out from the amount of ripping of your flash it succeeds a 49 is a regular for uh, constitution all right well, you, you oh, and say, it's, uh, it's a little the little devil doll is it alive uh it it is how much is it big uh probably you know like that so when it would when it would have come yeah. up it would almost look like when a snake swallows something how its uh, gut kind of expands yeah. around it yeah, and my mouth is full of blood, and yes. my throat is agony, and I'm bleeding. Yeah, can I stomp on the little fucker? Uh, you can. Yeah. What is, I don't have a number for unarmed combat. What's wrong with me? 1d3 <laughs> yeah. plus damage bonus. <laughs> Two. <laughs> you, when you stomp on it, it kind of just bursts. It's like stomping on, you know, just yeah. a tiny little thing. So uh, the chant goes on and on. The doll starts uh, almost looking very alive, but it kind of starts moving. And then it start, it bursts into flames. And you start seeing the smoke pouring out. You see uh, this face of Carl Grossman there. It starts screaming out. He's like, Whore, you promised me immortality. Whore, you betrayed me. And then he almost transforms into like this lamprey beast. And then it dissipates. And, and everyone in the, uh, the circle give me a constitution roll as you just kind of this pressure wave blasts into you. I passed that one. Okay. Just by a point. I failed. Right, you fail. You pass out, Astrid. Yeah, I uh, I got a hard success. Oh, so you hard success. But right when that pressure wave hits you, you do notice that the sun is coming up through the window. Oh. I think oh, that's it. God. Oh God, is it gone? Oh, oh God, it hit me like right in the face. Oh. How is everything outside? Yeah. Oh, we're all right out here. Ugh. I think maybe you did something that, that worked. I said uh, something. Well, something came out of me. It was bigger than uh, a sausage. 
the sunlight has hit the the window. So I think something I've done. Yeah, something attacked us. It, it it got me good a few times, but we, you know, Otto and I took it out. We heard you screaming. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it puked on my face. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're both a little, we need a little, we have some burns and blistering, Doctor, when we are sure that Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's it. That's it. As oh, far as... This burns, burns this fucking thing to the ground. Yeah. Good idea. Smashes little fetish things. <laughs> I, I just reach up and I just do that with the, the gnomes and make them fall off the shelf. Right, they all shatter everywhere. Okay, so you guys, we get that done, and uh, <laughs> as you kind of gather outside and maybe setting up your, are you really going to burn the shed down? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, I'm finding getting... some kerosene or turpentine or something around. The, yeah, you know, that's got to be all kind of up. insect oh, yeah. stuff, and yeah. yeah. So we go right back to the, oil. The, my place so they can fix everybody up. So, Astrid, as you are setting the uh, fire in the distance, you hear gunshots and uh, explosions in the city. Oh, God. It looks like our Einhard friends have uh, started uh, started their campaign. Better get yeah. back to it. Good to All be right. very careful. Okay. All right. So, uh, that ends part one. The uh, and When you get back to... Uh, Hans's uh, apartment. Uh, you hear on the radio the news that the Earhart Brigade has assassinated uh, a couple ministers of the government. Most uh, cruelly, they threw several grenades at, at Walter Rathenau, who was the Minister of Finance, and uh, blew him to pieces. This sets off uh, several days of demonstrations of the workers marching in the street, flying the red red flag of communism, and uh, many street battles. Unfortunately, this kicks off the uh, with Rathenau's assassination. Uh, this plunges Germany into what became known as the Animus Horribleus, the horrible year of 1923. The hyperinflation spins out of control, culminating in November of 1923 when the mark trades for 5 trillion marks to the dollar. It is so bad that people are, are using it to wallpaper their house because it's cheaper to do that. November, but the, in, also in November of 1923 in uh, Munich, Adolf Hitler leads the failed Bear Hall Putsch. It, where he gets jailed and he spends time writing his racist diatribe Mein Kampf before being released early, but being released only nine months later. However, we will pick back up with the investigators four years later in the summer of 1926. The Weimar Republic has entered its golden age. The mark is stabilized and Germany is rejoining the world as a successful country. The only signs of trouble is the recent election of 18 members of the National Socialist German Workers Party who will go down in history infamously as the Nazi Party. So we will conduct, so our investigators will conduct the investigator development phase. We will start with Hans. Hans, how did you survive the horrible hyperinflation? Well, uh, I probably reopened my medical uh, assistance uh, in order to bring in some cash, since the cash that I had probably became very quickly useless. Yeah. Um, so I, I help people, you know, in, in a kind of clinic fashion. Um, I know it's, it's very bad, but they pay me sometimes with, uh, with uh, eggs milk on uh, on what they can mm -hmm. um, so that's how I survive sounds good all right your credit rating will hold steady with that and do you want to uh, seek professional help for sanity or maybe just spend time with uh, backstory items I didn't lose that much sanity all right so, so. just just kind of make your time through your uh, working no. And, um, That's right. You never saw the monster. 
<laughs> they never got to see a monster. But I saw the little doll, which was creepy as hell. Yeah, it was. All right. Sounds good. All right. So, uh, also, everyone, for com- closing out part one, everyone recovers 1d4 plus 1d10 sanity. 1d4 for saving Anna Tchaikovsky and 1d10 for successfully banishing the demon Grossman. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. <laughs> she well deserved a sanity, I suppose. <laughs> I almost died. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, can this bring you above starting as long as yes, it doesn't we... go be of max? Okay. It can. Cool. It can. Awesome. Okay. No, right. I need and, it. <laughs> and Gustav, uh, what, how did you survive the Ooh. horrible year? I suppose um, probably uh, – uh, is bounty hunting still something that is required? I feel like there's much more important issues. I'm probably more of a, a mercenary. I probably do protective detail because I refuse to take up any of the with any of the armed forces. So I'm just trying to keep, uh, you know, property and businesses that are uh, above board uh, safe. I suppose so it's a private okay. security type thing. All right. So give me a luck roll. Sure. <laughs> See how the uh, business was. Oh no, that's that's eighty eight. That's a no. All right, you lose. Let me look at your. Uh, it's rough. Yeah, it's you bad. lose. You lose one d ten credit oh. rating. <laughs> okay, well, I went from an eighteen to a ten. That's times Ouch. are rough. Ouch! Yeah, yeah. Time time was rough. Times Bus- are rough. Business was not as good. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, and uh, do you want to uh, spend any time with backstory items or get professional help? Uh, I think I'm all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, Max, how how would you survive the horrible year? Um, Max, Max had it rough. Um, he did have it rough. <laughs> yeah, Max had it pretty rough. Um, he did try to continue to work his his newspaper job mm-hmm. and uh, write some newspaper articles. Um, he tried to substitute his income, drawing on his experience, maybe writing some scary stories for some off okay. newspapers or magazines, things like that. So, uh, all right. So you can either give me a luck roll or an arts and crafts roll. Um, let's see. My luck's higher. So I'll all do right. that. Yeah. No. no, no, I did not. All right. Uh, you'll lose one D 10 in credit also. Okay. Seven. Oh, so so you have a credit rating of three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what would you like to seek professional help or spend time with uh, backstory items for your sanity? Because I remember your yours got hit, nailed pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, I got hit pretty hard. So um, I think I'm actually going to uh, to 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 try to seek some assistance. Um, maybe maybe go talk to Hans a little bit. Uh, if he's willing to uh, to take me on as a patient, I think very very likely we all talk to one another about the events. Okay, all right. So, so yeah, so, uh, all of you can have medical for free from me. All right. What I can uh, afford, obviously. Many thanks, doctor. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Max, Donka. you will uh, remo- you can remove your indefinite insanity. And you will, since you're, uh, since you're going to seek professional help over four four years time, you will get forty six back of uh, sanity. Okay. All right, Astrid, how are we doing for the horrible year? <laughs> um, so Astrid becomes more radicalized uh, after the Earhart Brigade does their their little stunt. So she's actually going to kind of drop some of her pacifism. Um, she didn't lose much sanity. She only lost one point of sanity that entire time. So she wow. got that back pretty easily. So she's basically like going even more full hearted into like her workers collective, um, and which is also like an arts collective. So she's kind of like luckily she kind of lucks out on like the craze for uh african sculpture um that Mm -hmm. happens with the rise of picasso and the cubists so she's she kind of has like a a 
a pretty regular source of income, or at least she hopes so with her with her sculpture. All uh, right. So, this time. Okay. So, uh, so you're trying to sell. So you can give me art, charm, or luck. Okay. I'm gonna do art. Right. Okay. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna do my sculpture. Oh, 97. Oh. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah. All right. Did All it work right. out? Well, you know, we know the one D ten in credit. Oh, I'm D10. sorry. Okay. Yeah, sure. As the money became worthless. So at the very uh, least we can we can we can uh okay. mini Donka, you know, uh Donka doctor for your help because uh a lot of us can't afford medical care probably anymore. Yeah. Many people were ruined. So Donka doctor, Donka, Donka. I, I lost five, so I'm down to thirty. So that's right. not so horrible. Not as, as it's not Max horrible. Yeah, but... yeah you're, you're not begging like Max. So. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> All right, and finally, Otto. We'll stick together, bud. Uh, I think through the next few years, the black market was doing pretty good. It was. It was. It was, it was uh, booming. And I think I've gotten a little bit of. Um, you know, valuable experience. And I have a, a few uh, friends whom I despise as the Earhart types. So once or twice I can get out of trouble. Uh, and they all have, you know, uh, access to things they shouldn't have. So I don't think I'm going to have much trouble fiscally. I got eight sanity back from the 1D8 and 1D4, mm -hmm. um, which leaves me still a little wobbly. And I have a feeling that having my experiences, there's no ways in which I'm not going to be compelled to investigate the occult. Because oh, I don't know if I believe here. in a good yeah. god, but I believe in a dark god. Right. Um, so I might take up a strange language or start wandering around trying to talk to gypsies or something, yeah, uh, which is not likely to get me, unless maybe, yeah, it's too early for Jung. So I don't think I'm going to seek treatment in normal circles. Okay. All right. So, okay. So if you give me what skill would you think would be most appropriate for testing whether or not you're credit rating him? Well, I'm, 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 think. I'm persuasive. I'm stealthy. All right. Uh, yeah. I like I'm charming a little bit. I like, I like persuade. It's yeah. you persuade people to you know, make deals. That's right. Yeah, all right. So 20, uh, that's a, a hard success. A hard, all right. Yeah. Uh, your credit rating goes up by 1d6. Right, good. I might buy a share in the Beobachter or something. Yeah. That's four? Okay, that's not bad. All right. Just so you know, if you had taken out a loan, you, your credit rating automatically goes up because... That's what a lot of people did. They would take out loans because the loan, oh, I borrowed 100 <laughs> marks. Well, tomorrow, 100 marks is a dime. So, you know, I was able, because, yeah, it was, it was actually pretty fascinating. That's you know, clever. Like, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the banks were collapsing because of that, obviously. <laughs> so, okay. Sounds, sounds good. So, uh, yeah, um, for as a rolling all your skills and stuff like that, just uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. If you're wanting to get any type of training like auto implied, then uh, you can take uh, one skill a year and do a uh, improvement check on it. And also do improvement checks for your luck. And uh, on page 98 in the keeper handbook, I can help you out is the uh, guidance for aging. So if you, uh, cause you, everyone aged four years, yeah, I'm going to be 61. So 60. So, so for Tom, you need to deduct 10 points from among strength, constitution or decks and reduce your appearance by five, but you do get a, make an improvement check on your education. Okay. I'm 31 now. Uh, no, that has no okay. effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're in the prime of your life. <laughs> Astrid, where, what age will you be going to? I'll be turning 24. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. And Max? Um, I'm, I'd be 25. You're fine. And Otto? Turning 41. 40. All right. So 40, you get to make an improvement check for your education. And you need to deduct five points from among strength, constitution, or dex and reduce appearance by five. Apparently, when you turn 40, you get a little bit uglier. 
That's a little bit of a weird abstraction, but okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't right. know. I, I see pictures of me when I was 25, and I agree with that. <laughs> so I actually added 23 to my occult. Nice. I wow. like it. Okay. Because I would be fascinated. Also, what about De Vermis Mysteries? I've oh, yeah. I studied yeah. for four years and read the whole thing multiple times. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Okay. So, yeah, they, you will get the... Uh, the so, we the have pool. to keep in mind that his sandry loss from this is going to mean he's an increasingly erratic doctor. That's like, true. let me just rub a toad on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens if I slice here or display it open? Oh! It's the correct ritual. All right, De, De Vermis Mysteries, and you would have, uh, so 48 weeks of study, so you could have definitely studied it. So your Cthulhu Mythos goes up by eight. Oof. Ouch. Somebody's getting crazy. And I assume we have a little bit of a study group together, you and I. Now is that, I don't is have that, the Latin, but I can bring in other things. Is that eight on top of the three? Yes. Okay. Oh, I just got a one in an improvement check. Of course I did. Oh, that's, of course. That's great. Yeah. That's great. I don't, I don't yeah, that's great. I love that. But you did kind of prove that you're not very good at studying. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Astrid, Look, I thought that, that woo woo does. I don't get it. Sorry. Go ahead, Keith. Astrid, did you want to try and kick your habit? Uh, yeah, I think she's gonna she's gonna try and kick the. Coke All right, action. let me find the, how to kick the habit. All right, so give me a power roll. Power. See if you have the willpower to resist the call of the stone. Yes, I did. It's a hard pass. Too. Which is what you need. You need a hard pow to ki to kick the addiction. So. So, so the you have a rough couple weeks, a sweating and and everything. But uh, at the end of four weeks, you do feel like, oh, you know that that the uh, drug has stopped calling to you. <laughs> my my audio just cut out. I'm sorry, Keith. Oh. What, what did you say? So you had a rough four weeks, sweating as you tried to kick the addiction. But uh, with the hard power roll, you were able to resist the call of the uh, snow. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Um, and do we give it back our magic points? Yeah, you get those back okay. one an hour, so you one definitely got okay. those back. Right. And obviously, your any wounds are healed up because you know you get those back one a day. Okay. So yeah, all after right. four years, you're all healed back. Up. And I'd like to train in uh, firearms if possible. How, no how problem. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. yeah. Especially especially associating with the communists. At the yeah. Time. She's. Yeah, they, yeah. They're getting more radicalized, and the pacifist kind of. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, undertones are are headed headed out as as Lenin and the old guard kind of dies off and Trotsky yeah. dies off. Yeah, Stalin's Bolshevism uh, mm -hmm. definitely was violence. <laughs> yeah, not that Lenin was that yeah, yeah. guy either. But <laughs> okay, all right, good. How does that work? Do you do you just roll and then it's if you just, get higher than your yep, base? Yep. If you okay. get if you get higher than your current skill, then you get to add one d10 to it. Okay. And remember, any skill that you successfully made during the part one, you also get to do improvement checks on that. Right. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. No, I didn't pass. So. Well, you get to do, if you that's for one years. year. Yeah. You oh, get, that's you right. Four okay. years of yeah. training. So yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I thought about learning how to shoot a gun, and I rolled, and I got, I didn't make it four times. Oh, geez. You want to fail. I'm not good. I'm not good. I only got it on my last try, so. You actually, you want to fail on the improvement checks, though. Yeah, I understand. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got, All like, right. three and 19. And of course, four. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how it is for me. And now I get the good roll. <laughs> and when it improves, I'm like, oh, I went up by yeah. one point. Awesome. Uh, but my occult went way up. My Latin went way up. So I got 13 more occult with two rolls, because we can only do four things in the four years, right? Yes, sir. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, so I don't think I want to do all of it occult, but I do wonder, I think that uh, Hans and I should do some uh, famous study together. And I have a little occult that's not from there. OK. So we, I can, I can probably improve him. 
Good luck uh, on your Latin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, if you're if you're kind of studying Dave Ver Vermees with uh, Hans, then you're going to get the same thing, the plus eight to the Cthulhu Mythos. Because I'm assuming you're not going to go over the 36, which is the most you can get from Dave Vermees. Uh, yeah, not even close. Yeah, I didn't think so. I was going to say. Uh, but that's still, I'm, you know, more than 10% in the other world. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, I'm also seeking uh, in my in my occult indoctrinations, I'm looking for anything about Abbe Zul. Yeah. There's oh, nothing okay. in Vermeer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me, an occult, give me an occult roll. Yeah, both looking for that information. Yeah, I mean, I only have 18, so not, not to say succeed. Right. But I have a small obsession, I think. Yeah. What are we supposed to roll for that one? A cult. Oh. Uh, the, I assumed oh. that the, <laughs> the scar healed. You know, it did. It did. It just felt like it kind of started ripping it. Maybe it's a little nastier. Gives yeah. your character. Yeah, I mean, all right, he's a scar. I'm actually, the. Five points I lost on appearance for getting older is not so bad because the scar was kind of yeah. aesthetically pleasing. Now it's a little less so. Yeah. Um, and in terms of, I mean, I, I had the impression that that there was no more crossmen inside. That's right. Out. You you are do have that feeling that yeah you. And it is. I'm free. I'm not going to see that thing again. I'm sure we could hear his curse from outside the shed, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that probably felt very gratifying. Mm. Yes, it uh, did. So I'm going to spend another year just on drive auto because it's very good when you're a bootlegger to be able to yeah. drive well. Okay, uh, sounds good. One other thing I don't know yet. Well, to Fred, to Vermis Mist, please. Is there any chance that we have gained some magic? Uh, yes, I will have to research uh, learning magic from books. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there are spells in there. Yes. So. Yeah. All I right. kind of feel like. All right. Yes, sir, Max. I kind of feel like that Max is experience would have gotten him some interest in the occult as well okay yeah. that kind of makes sense and then getting help from hans as mm -hmm. well yeah 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 if yeah. you want to get trained in that that is uh sounds good to me yeah and so i i roll for that one yeah you you roll and your first roll you want to fail you okay. want to and if you fail you go up by 1d10 okay oh yeah i failed that yeah Kind of a neat system where you like, mm -hmm. you know, because obviously you can learn more if you don't know as much. You're like, oh, yeah, this, I get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. I learned two. Nice. Right. <laughs> no. Yep. All right. So we'll close out with the setup for uh, how part two will begin. It begins on August 7th, 1926. Mm. Astrid has. Uh, she is a uh, fan, still a fan of the Nita Berber, and uh, she, her some of her uh, fellow uh, lesbian uh, fans of Anita Berber has been able to secure tickets to a one night engagement of uh, Anita Berber's triumphant return from her tour of uh, the of Syria, D Damascus, and Yugoslavia, and so uh, that that. You'll be headed out to there, and it will be performing at the Weiss Mouse, the Weiss Mouse, the White Mouse uh, Cabaret is where the uh, show will be at. Wonderful. Wonderful, indeed. Fabulous. Front row tickets. Ancient mysteries to learn from that part of the world, after all. <laughs> Our players included John Dos Passos, David Gassaway, Troy Wheel Dryer, Julian Arba, and myself, with Keith Craig as the keeper of the secrets. We're currently producing up to four shows a week with music and sound effects added in post-production in order to create a richer listener experience. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean or iTunes. The costs involved with the show are provided almost entirely by our patrons. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do what we 
do. If you'd like to help support our show, please visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. You can find a link in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answering any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayland, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure in the universe of HP Lovecraft in the Call of the Cthulhu Wolfgang game. Until next time, viel Glück und viel Spaß. Hab ich sie wieder zugedeckt. Da hilft nur aufzustehen und mal was anderes sehen, weil man sonst blind werden kann. So fing es an. Drum, wenn du Mitleid kennst, mit dem Arme nachgespenst, dann schließ nicht ab die Tür, nein, öffne sie mir.